While I certainly hope you weren't someone who thought that in 2024, next-gen Nintendo hardware talks would calm down, because quite the opposite, we are actually seeing them ramp up, with today's video having to do with developers commenting on this hardware specifically. And we're gonna unpack all of that, but if you're somebody who's really more in the mindset that Nintendo's not gonna launch or talk about anything until 2025, we have a lot of mounting evidence hitting from numerous different sources at this point. We've talked about many of them on the channel up until this point in time. We have manufacturing companies overseas reporting big Q1, Q2 profits because they're working with a Japanese game company to release a new console and they are expecting the large order of the casing shells for those to essentially spike their stock price. We know about all of the Gamescom 2023 rumors where behind closed doors developers were apparently showed target spec PCs that should have roughly demonstrated what the next gen hardware will be capable of. We have legal FTC court documents on record and available for public viewing that shows that Bobby Kotick was sent a file ahead of a briefing with Mr. Shintaro Furukawa titled NG Switch. So even if you're somebody that wants to throw out all of the leaks and rumors, there's just a lot of different sources definitely pointing to the fact that we are likely in the year that Nintendo is launching this hardware and now we even have developers weighing in their two cents and we're going to unpack all of that right after you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification to join Sunbro Nation if you're new here. And I want to first shout out friend of the channel, Andres Restart, as that is where I originally saw this news break. And we also have to shout out a viewer or fan of his channel, something else over on Twitter or X. And the handle is actually Clean Green 23 And this individual went through and translated a few different interviews from multiple different sources, including Famitsu and 4Gamer, and we have the likes of Capcom, Koei Tecmo, and Spike Chunsoft developers commenting on this, as you can first see the following post from something else, which reads, something that's gone under the radar recently, but is pretty big in some Japanese devs openly stating their excitement for new hardware next year, some even straight up say Nintendo. First up, we have a Capcom developer saying 2024 will also bring new consoles and more indie titles to look forward to. Koei Tecmo developer says, Nintendo's new platform has been the focus of much attention. Another Koei Tecmo developer says, we look forward to seeing what new gaming platforms and their titles will bring to the table. And lastly, we have Spike Chunsoft saying, there are rumors of a new Switch and I am looking forward to seeing what kind of machine it will be. Now, obviously developers who are in possession of a dev kit and have direct knowledge of when Nintendo might launch this thing or when their games need to be ready to go by if they want to hit the launch window, they're clearly under NDA and they're not gonna come out and say, I can't wait to launch my brand new Capcom game on the Nintendo Switch 2 when it comes out in 2024. But the reason that there's some substance to this is we are now getting at a point where it is such mainstream knowledge that Nintendo is getting ready to transition to new hardware and it is such a topic of conversation on the internet that even game developers themselves that are under some form of NDA, if they have a development kit in their possession, are indeed still talking about their excitement for what's to come with new console hardware in 2024. Now, I am well aware that you could play devil's advocate with this story and definitely point out some things that don't insinuate entirely that this is Nintendo Switch 2 that we are talking about, because while Nintendo was name dropped by specific developers, there's also some that just say, new platforms. Well, there is a rumored PlayStation 5 Pro that should be coming out towards the end of 2024, and there is some possibility, because these are Japanese developers, that maybe they're just excited about the new capabilities of a more powerful PlayStation 5. Why we need that already, I don't know, but that is where we are at with the tech world right now. I feel like PS5s are just barely getting on store shelves where you can pick one up easily, and here we are at the end of the holiday season this year. We could be talking about buying a new iteration of a PS5 Pro. I don't think it'll sell that well but who knows but when you have direct statements like nintendo's next platform has been the topic of a lot of attention and i'm excited about it and i can't wait to see what nintendo does with their next gen platform even acknowledging rumors about it from direct game devs clearly there's a lot of talk in the air and it is for good reason at this point in time if you're someone who thinks the switch is going to ride through as the only console that nintendo supports into 2025 2026 and 2027 like it's just not gonna happen we're talking about already the longest gap in time ever with nintendo not at least acknowledging what they're bringing to the table next with new hardware while they are selling this one primary device 
as their flagship console. While we talk about Nintendo hitting record-breaking all-time highs recently with the highest stock trading price that they've ever had since the Wii generation, we are also seeing them fall off of a cliff more or less in November, and I will be interesting to see the December NPD results when we get those in terms of hardware sales. During literally the busiest shopping season of the year in November, we saw a stark decline in Nintendo Switch sales performance around the console itself. Software is still killing the game, but you can't deny that many people who have wanted to purchase a Switch have had ample time to do it, and while you're naturally going to see some uptick over the holiday season, that is getting less and less the longer that this is the current product offering lineup from Nintendo, and you also have to keep in mind a big chunk of their new console sales could even be coming from people who are just double dipping on Switch systems, getting a second one for the household, or upgrading their base model to an OLED, and that is just not going to be a sustainable sustainable strategy for Nintendo to speak through all of 2024 to their investors when people are going to be asking questions, what are you going to do to move the needle and create a spike up and not lose all of your sales momentum before transitioning to your next gen platform? Besides all of the information we've talked about that I do believe points us to a 2024 release from Nintendo, you also have the point in the gaming market where we are seeing Sony and Microsoft actually shift away from releasing many third-party titles or even their own first-party titles on previous gen console hardware meaning that the ps5 and series x and s which the series s is obviously less powerful but those are the new benchmarks that developers are aiming for in terms of minimum specifications the nintendo switch will clearly just be left behind from a third-party perspective for the most part if nintendo doesn't upgrade their hardware offerings We've seen it more and more in recent gaming events like the Game Awards 2023, where you have a game like Visions of Mana that literally looks like the perfect fit for Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo Switch is missing from the lineup of consoles that it's announced for right now. And of course, that could clearly still be in the works for Switch 2, but we're at a point where a game that would have been an excellent pick for the Nintendo Switch and something that has history on the platform is not coming to it because the graphical fidelity of the next-gen games are just getting to a point where the Switch is out of the conversation. Monster Hunter Wilds being another great example. You know that Monster Hunter has a strong user base on the Nintendo Switch due to the success of Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak, the DLC, and there's no reason reason not to have that game in the conversation on some kind of more capable hardware, but it's not happening right now because we don't have official confirmation from Nintendo around when they're releasing that hardware. So clearly, I am very much of the mindset that we will likely see Nintendo reveal their hardware at some point this year. I'm less on the January train, I'm more on the March train for a reveal of some sort, and I do think that by May and onward, it could legitimately drop and be in our hands any month of the year in 2024. But that's my personal opinion, and now I really want to hear from you guys on how you feel about Nintendo Switch 2 and all of the new rumors, reports, developers talking. Is there fire, in your opinion, where there's all this smoke coming up around us, or do you think that somehow this is just the Switch Pro all over again, and Nintendo's not gearing up for new hardware this year. That's definitely not how I feel about it, but I would love to hear your perspective if you do. And if you had to make a prediction, what are the months you think we will see Nintendo reveal this thing if you do think it's coming out 2024? And when do you think we will finally see it ultimately launch? But regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.